Hello, welcome to our service of morning prayer for the week of half term in October 2020. It's the week between Bible Sunday and All Saints, uh, and it is the week on which, of course, we focus on reading the Bible. I hope you've got a Bible for yourself, because the essence of this service uh, is that uh, we read the Bible uh, in a calm and uninterrupted manner, and so if you're watching me on video at the far side of the room, you'll also need the video remote so that you can pause me and instead listen to God speaking through his word. This service follows the order of service in the Common Worship Daily Prayer uh, uh, prayer book. Let's ask God into our hearts and onto our lips by his Holy Spirit. O Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Because your love is better than life, my lips will praise you, I will glorify your love, is better than life, I'll lift my heart, The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. Please pause this video as you pray yourself. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. The Psalms of David were written as songs, uh, so here is today's psalm uh, set as a piece of music. Because the 
flames of the stars in the sky and calls out their names as they circle on high. His infinite might unbounded above gives wicked men fright but tells us of love. He heals broken hearted and binds them with care and they are not parted from him in despair. His clouds fill the sky, his rivers run deep. He makes grass grow high, feeds cattle and sheep. He builds up his city, takes us for his flock. His mercy and pity are stronger than rock. His word was revealed to Jacob, his child. He's Israel's shield, on us he has smiled. He takes no delight in the strength of a horse, but those who seek right find his love in due course. So let us extol our King and our God, and give him our all, and value his word, and banish resentment that stressings may cease, and live in contentment and blessings and peace. And you might like to turn up the psalms yourself uh, and read them and meditate on them on, in your own Bible. In the Old Testament we're looking at the final part of Two Kings which tells of the last days of the kingdom of Judah before it was taken into exile. It's got some highs in it, like the reforms of the King Josiah, and also some lows uh, in the shenanigans that went on at the end. Please pause the video and read today's passage in your own Bible. If you wish, you can use a canticle to respond to the Bible reading uh, and read that in your own Bible. And in the New Testament this week, we're looking at 1 Timothy uh, and a reading through it day by day. Please pause the video and read today's Bible passage in your own Bible. And we can respond to the New Testament reading by using the canticle Benedictus, the song which Zechariah sang uh, when the birth of his own son, John the Baptist, took place. So let's turn to prayer. Please uh, pause the video and put before God the things which are on your own heart, the lessons that he might teach you from his word uh, and the things which you'd really like him to do in this world. Salvation. 
and news of forgiveness for all nations, breaking the bonds of sin and hate and fraud. Praise to the Lord whose wonders never cease, sending our Saviour Christ to bring release. Tender compassion now is dawning, shining on those who wait for morning, guiding our feet into the way of peace. The collect for this week, the last Sunday after Trinity, before the seasonal time begins. Blessed Lord, who caused all holy scriptures to be written for our learning, help us so to hear them, to read, mark, learn, and inwardly digest them, that through patience and the comfort of your holy word, we may embrace and forever hold fast the hope of everlasting life, which you have given us in Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And please join us as we pray the Lord's Prayer, the prayer which Jesus himself taught his first disciples. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. And so may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. May the Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.